Hello and welcome to this tutorial. We are continuing the series of Spark plus PySpark. Today we are going to discuss about repartition and coalesce function. Repartition and coalesce function both are used to change the number of partitions of a data frame or RDD. So if you have a data frame or RDD and you want to change the number of partitions, you can use either repartition or coalesce based on your requirement. Repartition function and coalesce function both are used to change the number of partitions but they both are different. Coalesce function always decreases the number of partitions while repartition function may increase or decrease the number of partitions based on the condition. Repartition function uses shuffling between the partitions but coalesce function merges the partitions to change the number of partitions. We will understand this using an example. To understand this problem, I am considering five uneven partitions with data S. My first partition has 10 MB of data, second has 20 MB, third has 30 MB, fourth has 40 MB of data and fifth partition has 100 MB of data. So if we consider these data partitions for data processing, then there will be huge difference in the processing time of these partitions because this partition has lesser amount of data, it will be processed faster than the 20 MB of data and so on. So this 20 MB data partition is going to be processed faster than 30 MB. This 30 MB data partition is going to be processed faster as 40 MB. So this may arise, you know, kind of problem to us. At the time of execution, 10 MB and other small executors will sit idle until 100 MB executor completes. So until this 100 MB data partition executes completely, these all small data partitions are going to sit idle. To tackle these kind of problems, we use repartition and coalesce so that we can redesign the number of partitions in data processing. So how these repartition and coalesce will be implemented? So as we know that repartition always gives proper partitions. Now this is something which we have to understand what are even or proper partitions and what are uneven or improper partitions. So if I consider the scenario of repartition, what it will do? It will combine all the partitions and it may divide this, you know, this number into four partitions to have four proper partitions of 50 MP each. So if I apply repartition in this scenario, what it will do? It will produce four partitions of 50 MB each. So what, what, what is going to happen? Shuffling is going to happen. Shuffling means data of this partition is going to be combined with this and data of this partition is going to be combined with this. So like this, we will have four partitions or four even partitions. If we want to tackle this problem using coalesce function, what it will do? Coalesce always merges the partition and it may produce improper or uneven partitions. So what it can do? It might merge partition 1 with partition 2 and partition 3 with partition 4. So partition 1 and partition 2 will have 30 MB of data and partition 3 and partition 4 will have 70 MB of data. So what it will do? It will combine first and second to have a new partition which will have 30 MB of data. It will combine partition 2 and partition 3 to produce a new partition that is going to have 70 MB of data. And it will not touch partition 5. It is trying to solve our problem, but it's not going to produce evenly distributed data partitions. Hence, it verifies that coalesce does not evenly distribute the data. While when we were looking into the repartition function. It was distributing data 
evenly. Repartition uses shuffling but coalesce uses merging. Shuffling is very costly operation as compared to merging. So the benefit of coalesce function is it doesn't you know shuffles data between multiple nodes. So shuffling is something which is very costly operation. Shuffling produces evenly distributed data while merging does not. We already have discussed this. More input output operations will be performed in repartition because of shuffling. Let's see this in PySpark code. So if you see my screen, I have just created a Spark session that is required to write the PySpark code and I'm importing the required modules and I'm reading a flight data that is available in my local machine and data looks something like this which is saying it has three columns, destination country name, origin country name, and count of flights. So this flight, you know, started from United States and reaches to Romania, and the count of flight is one. This flight, you know, starts from United States and it reaches to Ireland, and the count of flights are 264. So now what I'm doing, I'm just counting the number of rows in the data. So it says it has 255 rows of data. We cannot find the number of partitions from data frame. That's why we are converting the data frame to RDD and then finding the number of partitions. So I am taking this data frame variable and converting it into RDD and then using get number of partitions function to get the number of partitions. So currently it is running in my local machine. That's why it is saying it has only one partition or one node. Let's repartition it. So what I did, I repartition this data into four partition. So what I found after repartitioning this data into four partition, I'm just using this variable and trying to count the number of partition with the count of partition ID and grouping it by the partition ID to show like each partition ID has how much partitions. So when I use this variable, which I already done repartition, so I'm able to see partition ID 1 has 64 partitions, 3 has 64 partitions. So if I repartition a particular variable, it is, you know, evenly distributing data into number of partitions like first partition has 64 count third has 64 second has 63 and zeroth have 64 so it, it justifies that repartitions distributes data evenly let's try to coalesce it so to coalesce the partition we have to first repartition it why because when when i was trying to read my number of partitions from this flight data frame, I was able to see only one node or one partition. So if I want to, you know, apply the coalesce function, I must have different number of partitions to decrease the number of partitions. Because if you have one partition and coalesce is always going to decrease the number of partition. So how is it going to decrease it? So I have to first repartition it so that I have ample number of partitions and then I can apply the coalesce function. So I'm just, you know, applying the repartition function and I'm repartitioning the data frame into eight partitions. What I'm doing then, I'm just coalescing the partition into three partitions. So it's like I have eight number of partitions and I am just going to merge those eight number of partitions into a way where we will have three partitions. So let's see how it is coalescing the data. So when I'm running it, I'm just able to see partition ID 1 has 96 partitions, partition ID 2 has 95 partitions. But if you see this zeroth partition ID has 64 partitions. So it, it justifies when you are trying to coalesce the number of partitions, it will not produce evenly distributed data. So if you see 64 and 95, both numbers have large difference between them. So it justifies coalesce function distribute data unevenly while this 
repartition function always distribute data in an evenly fashion.